Hey guys, I'm back with a tea video. It has been a super long time since I've done one of these, but I don't really drink a lot of hot tea during the summer because it's so warm, and we still haven't exactly had cold weather, so I haven't been drinking a crazy amount of tea, but I did buy a few new tea items and I have some tea empties to share with you. So, let's just get started. For the tea empties, I have, I only saved one of these boxes to show you. I've probably gone through at least five of them. It's the Bigelow Green Tea Classic in Decaf. I love this tea. It is just, it's such a basic green tea. It's decaf, so I can drink it whenever and not feel bad about it. You know what I mean? I probably drink like two to three cups of it every day. I absolutely love it. If you're a green tea person and you know a green tea that blows this one away, please tell me down below because... I kind of decided I wanted to start drinking green tea for health benefits, so I just picked this one up at the store, and it's the one I've been drinking ever since, and I absolutely adore it. I did get the green tea organic decaf box. I found this at Publix, and this one is the giant size. It comes with 40 as opposed to, I think, 20. I don't like the organic one as much. To me, it doesn't taste as good. It definitely tastes different. So I wanted to mention that. I won't repurchasing that. I won't be repurchasing that. I used up and or went through another box of the Yogi Honey Lavender Stress Relief. I love this tea. It is so good. I think I'm completely out of it. I was in Target the other day and I almost purchased another box but I purchased two others instead. This is a Rubio's Rooibos tea. I absolutely love it. It is super yummy, and it's nice to drink at bedtime. It's very calming and soothing. This is, I have no idea where this came from, St. Dalfour Organic Earl Grey Tea. I mean, I have no idea where this came from. It was a pretty nice Earl Grey tea. This one I probably finished up a while ago because I haven't been drinking much caffeine at all since I've been pregnant. And it was good. It was... I don't know where I would ever repurchase it, but it was not bad. Then I'm trying to go through some of my Tivana teas because I just, I have a few and I don't really like them. So these I've gone through a while ago as well. This is the Blooming White Tea Peach Mama, Mama Taro, and it's the little balls that you put in, balls like the flowering balls and you put in your tea infuser and they open up. This tea was pretty good. I won't repurchase it, but it wasn't bad. And then this one I did not finish. It's the flavored white tea, the white Rovetic chai. I absolutely love chai tea, but I want it to be creamy. So I guess I like a chai latte. I absolutely love that, but I don't like the chai when it's not like that because then it's just way too spicy to me. So I did not finish this. I did not like it. Okay. Then I have a few like single, well one more tea and then a few single uses. This is from David's Tea. It's the Movie Night Green Tea. And this says it has apple pieces and popcorn. It was really tasty. I liked it a lot. I love the David's Tea, how it tells you how much tea to use, how long to steep it, the amount of caffeine, and the like temperature level of your water. Where to me, the Tivana bag, it has some stuff on the back, but not quite as detailed. Plus, this is exactly for this tea, so there's no question. Um, it was pretty good. I don't think I'll repurchase that one, though. Okay. Some more David's Tea samples. This was Main Squeeze... It was a mate. I don't think I really loved it. This was a mystery tea. I can't tell you anything about that because it's been a while. And the strawberry rhubarb parfait. I didn't really like that either. Okay, this is the Republica Tea Gingerbread Cup of Cake Red Tea. I think I got this one fairly recently. I really liked this one. I love every time Republica Tea sends me a tea sample probably like eight times out of ten or nine times out of ten I end up purchasing the full size because I really end up liking the sample I wish more companies did it it's like genius and this I wanted to mention I don't know if I ever have 
I got this at Kroger. I don't know if it's the Kroger store brand of organic or if it's not. I don't know. It's the Simple Truth Organic Cream Honey. I absolutely love this. I don't really like the taste of honey, but to me the cream tunnies are more, okay, it says distributed by Kroger, so yeah. Um, the cream tunnies don't have that overly strong honey taste, so I really like the cream tunny. I just wanted to mention that. Okay, and then two boxes of tea I picked up at Target this week. This is the Tazo Passion. I've had this before, and I kind of go in and out on liking it because it is very... It's very tart. It says an exuberant herbal infusion of hibiscus, orange peel, rose hips, and passion fl fruit flowers. Tart rose hips and citrusy lemongrass. So I think that's kind of what it definitely is like a tart taste, but I do like I enjoy it and crave it. But then it's some days it's if I'm not in the mood for it, I don't like it. And then the Tazo Chai Pumpkin Spice. And I got this to kind of make myself like a chai at home. And I looked up online how to do that, and <laughs> everything said to steep it in milk. And I don't know if I'm missing it, but I haven't figured out how to steep my tea in milk, and it actually come out. Like, I did it last night, and it just tasted kind of like slightly spiced milk. So, if you do this kind of thing at home, please tell me what I'm missing out, because it just, I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is make my milk more hot. Maybe do two bags and steep it for longer than the directions say. So we'll see. And then I ordered a few teas from David's Tea. Ugh, maybe like a month and a half ago. And I kept meaning to show y'all. And meaning to try everyone before I did the video. And I just... October was so crazy. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. So I can't give you reviews on all of them. But I'll tell you what I got. Okay, the ones that I cannot tell you about... Are the apple custard sweet and creamy and I can't remember if I've tried this before I got it in a tin the peanut butter cup which sounds really nice the spiced pumpkin and I think I got for the most part all herbal teas except for one and this is a fruit infusion and then the ones I have tried, this is the Pumpkin Pie Matcha. It's a green tea drink. And it's the green, like, matcha tea powder. And this is okay. I love how the green tea, like, scent is. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see on the side the green powder. I love the scent of it. I love, like, the green tea frappuccinos from Starbucks. And I've had like a matcha green tea before. I like that. I just think, I don't think I mixed it well or something like that. Something was off when I made it that day. And then the spiced apple fruit infusion. And this was pretty tasty. And then the caramel corn fruit infusion. I really like this. But the description's kind of weird. It says we gave everyone's favorite fairground snack a refreshing twist with the addition of apple and pineapple plus coconut. Car caramel corn being a fairground snack so that's a little weird to me but this was really yummy and the fruit infusion teas I feel like you get a lot less of them because the tea it's like so many pieces of dried fruit and stuff but they're really good so I'm kind of back on my tea there for a while it kind of one the taste of anything besides water was disgusting to me and then when it's hot I just didn't want to be drinking tea and hopefully it will start cooling off. It's like 81 here today. This top I'm wearing is a complete um, fake. It's false. It is false advertising. That is not how the weather feels here at all. So that is all. I just wanted to do another tea video. It's been so long. If any of you have been drinking tea lately and you've been liking something, please tell me down below. I love tea recommendations. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.